I think Chase needs to get their flowers for this one, to be honest, because I haven't seen anyone really dive deep into this or really give much praise to Chase for this because it is very similar to the Amex Fine Hotels and Resorts, and everyone loves to rave about Amex Fine Hotels and Resorts, although I'm kind of iffy on it, right? You do get the credit. That's why it's talked about, the $200 credit with the Amex Platinums, if you're not aware of that, but... I think uh, I think Chase is really stepping up their game on the luxury side of things, trying to, you know, improve the quality of the things that they are offering to the reserve holders and their preferred holders. And I think this like if you have a preferred card, this is a fantastic benefit because it's something that you get with a ninety five dollar annual fee card. So let's kind of jump into it a little bit, because this is going to be fun stuff to go over. First off, this is kind of how I'm feeling, right? I'm Inspector Gadget. I wanted to type that in, but great movie by the way I haven't seen it in a while but this is how I feel because no one's really diving into it maybe I'm just not you know jumping into everyone else's content a ton by the way but if you guys don't know the Amex travel fine hotels and resorts is a benefit that is a part of the platinum cards they basically give you a $200 hotel credit that you can use towards a stay with their fine hotels and resorts and hotel collection packages. These are going to be much more higher end stays, much more luxury stays. Of course, they're going to be in cities that people travel to a lot. So, right, the expenses are going to be higher. I'd say the majority of the time, the prices, I know this is pretty broad, but it's going to be between like $300 and up to like $1,500 to grand per night. Now, if you go to places like Vegas, who typically has deals, you can find stuff, you know, a little over 200 or, or maybe some smaller cities where there isn't a ton of traction. You could find the 200 to $350 range, but you can use that credit there to then stay at, uh, at the hotel for a night or two, whether you want to go somewhere early, stay somewhere late, or end up doing a long weekend because there are some benefits with it. But when we talk about it, right, this is kind of what the benefits come with, with the Amex fine hotels and resorts credit and just package and you can book these through the portal not just like if you've already used your credit you can still book it and get these benefits that's why it is valuable for people that might not have status right and are willing to pay the price for these hotels because you can get these additional benefits which can be really nice to have now you get a room upgrade upon arrival right so typically right room upgrades will come with status but you don't need to have status because you're booking it through the system here and you'll likely get Five times points because you're booking it through Amex Travel, similar with what we'll talk about with Chase. Daily breakfast for two people. Guaranteed late checkout, which is really nice. You can get an early check-in as well. Complimentary Wi-Fi. And then $100 experience credit. Now, the $100 experience credit typically goes towards food or drink, like a restaurant on site. Or, you know, like a spa credit, like a massage or hydrotherapy or something like that, if the hotel has that on site right? Now, like I said, there's not going to be tons and tons of locations. They're typically bigger cities, of course, or travel destinations. As you can see, like it looks a little bit more luxury, um, but there are benefits like complimentary fourth night, complimentary third night. So like long weekend stays can be really nice. Um, like mandarins. Look at that freaking looks like a palace. But yeah, even this, pretty cool, like $400 property credit at the Ritz-Carlton. Like that comes in huge. $400 property credit, Ritz-Carlton Grand Cayman is probably, you know, a thousand bucks a night or so. But yeah, fine hotels and resorts is great because you can stay at these great, you know, places, these great locations and these great hotels um, and get these additional benefits. Now, what I think is really being slept on is... Under your Chase Sapphire Preferred Benefits and under your Chase Sapphire Reserve Benefits, this is something, like like I said, Amex Fine Hotels and Resorts gets praised for this a lot. But Chase, literally, I haven't really looked into it a whole lot because Chase Sapphire Preferred I've had for a while. And once I did a video on it, I started looking into the benefits again. And they used to have like a hotel VIP access, but I don't think it was as extensive as it is now. So this is what I want to talk about, the Ennis Moore Hotel VIP Access. Right, so I was looking at this. I'm like, hmm, select hotels, including fourth night free room upgrades. This is this reminds me of something really similar. So look at this. You click on it, right? And as we know, Chase is really trying to bring more benefits to their reserve holders, to their preferred holders, right? These are their flagship cards. And right, they've been making lounges. They're trying to step into the Amex game, which is really nice because a lot of people are 
getting annoyed with American Express and how they keep increasing their fees. The lounges keep getting crowded. So as you can see, like very captivating <laughs> website when you jump on it, you're like, oh, this is, this does feel classy. This feels nice. Now, what I want to mention too is like this is, this is on a preferred card, right? A $95 annual fee card, their initial flagship card. Now you're not going to get tons of locations, right? They are Hyde Hotels, Maison Hotels, Mondrian Hotels, SLS Hotels, and then the St. Martin's Lane London in there. But basically you can book your stay using the code Chase. Now you will likely, because you made the booking, you'll also get five times points. So very similar. You could probably use your $50 hotel credit if you wanted to as well. So you can see like not tons, but they are in expensive locations, traveling locations, Park Avenue, Seal, you know, all across the world. You get about 20 locations all across the world. But this is something to think about if you are thinking about these locations. Now we look at the benefits. You can get a fourth night free. Sleep in, you get late checkout. You get welcome beverages. That's something a little bit different. Now, instead of the experience credit, you get the $30 hotel credit per room. So you get $30 towards your dinner or lunch or something like that, food and beverage. Pretty nice little benefit there. Complimentary upgrades. You get a complimentary upgrade just like fine hotels and resorts. You can get priority access to cabana reservations or probably other things that are on the property, right? So that is nice. You still get the complimentary breakfast, daily continental breakfast for two people. And then I'm hearing as well, this VIP guest money, they don't put a dollar amount on it, like $100 on Amex Fine Hotels and Resorts, but I'm hearing it's pretty much the same exact thing. They give you a credit or they give you a, um, an activity that is on them that's for free because you're staying at their place and you booked it through the Sapphire Benefits. So as you can see, it is essentially the same stuff as the fine hotels and resorts. Now, you do not get the $200 hotel credit that is a part of the Platinum, but think about that. Like, you have a $95 preferred card or reserve card, and you get the benefit of this if you want to. Now, what I did actually, uh, so like, let's look up, like I was trying to look up, I did look up Paris, it was about like 670 euros for a basic room which makes sense because I'm thinking, you know what, these are nice hotels. They are in, you know, very popular, expensive cities. But I'm like, okay, where is one that you could possibly stay in? That might not be that expensive, right? Now let's use the special code. So as you can see, we did SLS Cancun. Now it shows we are going to get benefits if we pay for this. Now our superior room, the heck? I just checked it, it was $279. Maybe it's because I keep going in on it. Let me check. Oh, January, that's why. I didn't want to do that. Let's do um, let's do a midweek here. Obviously if that's next week, it's gonna be more expensive because they're filled, right? I have a special code. Boom, boom, boom. Let's check it again. Look at that. Okay, you get those benefits. You can go to Cancun, which is pretty easy for most people to get to, especially if you're on the East Coast. Like you can get a straight flight in there pretty cheap for $231. Get a couple friends. $231, you get complimentary upgrades, late checkout, you get complimentary breakfast. You're probably going to get a $100 you know, credit on site or activity on site with the VIP guest amenity. Stay four nights, book a long weekend, $231. You'll probably get you know, put into at least the Superior Ocean View room. If you guys sweet talk them too, they'll put you in way bigger rooms if you're a nice person and you just make them smile and make them laugh. They're going to let you in. So you could easily get a room that might cost you 100, 200, 300 dollars more a night. So I I honestly, this is what I'm saying. I think this is slept on. Of course, Amex Fine Hotels and Resorts gets their flowers because they have the complimentary credit, but if you're looking at ways to maximize something or maximize your hotel bookings without having status, like this is a great option. And Chase keeps kind of stepping up their game slowly, but surely they're taking their time with it, but this is something to look out for because it's just like Amex Fine Hotels and Resorts. They may not have as many locations right now, but this is a solid benefit to look at. So 
I did stay at a fine hotels and resorts called, uh, that's why I had it up here, Hotel Effie Sandestin. They put me in like a room that was $650, $700. I got $100 towards food and drinks. Me and some friends uh, got some food and drinks here. Great stay. They did try to get me for like an extra $150 in taxes and fees. So I had to call and be like, what's going on with this? So beware of that if you do book sometimes with Amex Fine Hotels and Resorts. Like sometimes because they are these luxury, more luxury style hotels, they just try to nickel and dime you in some places. I mean, most people just don't second guess it. But if you don't want to pay extra, right, be aware of it. But yeah, that is my thoughts on the Ennismore Hotel VIP Access. The cool thing about it, like I said, is that this is something that you can utilize with a intro travel card, the Chase Sapphire Preferred. And as you can see, you could just stay at the SLS Cancun for $230 a night, get those additional benefits, and it's a $95 annual fee card. It's $600 less than the Amex Platinum. You're not getting those $200 hotel credits, but all those additional things stack up $30 free towards food, complimentary room upgrade, late checkout. Like not many people are talking about this. I know I keep saying that, but it should be, you know, talked about more because this is something many of you can take advantage of more. Amex always gets their flowers for it. Although, you know, I've had an iffy here and there, um, you know, experience with fine hotels and resorts. But yes, it's a better experience that provides you options. So that is my take on it. Let me know if you've known about it for a while. Maybe I just haven't looked into my benefits for a long time because I've had the preferred card for so long that I've just known what I get with it. But let me know if there's certain hotels that you had booked on the SLS or the Mondrian or anything like that that you really enjoyed and whether you think this is going to start competing with Amex Hotel Fine and Resorts. Amex Hotels Fine and Resorts. Jesus. Fine Hotels and Resorts. But, yeah, take it with what you will. I think this is a great option people can start looking into. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully it's valuable. Take care. Talk soon, friends. Peace.